uh, we would like to see today to analyze the account of the trader Hussain and he is having the account in Ventis International Live and he's a very good trader as uh, from his analysis of the trades there are many profitable trades and he has achieved the 75% accuracy and we can see that he has deposited uh, initially $750 and started the trade since the 2019 October actually in 10 months period of time he has deposited around $47,000 and withdrawn $13,000 and from the trade history as we can see there are many profitable trades and uh, few losses but losses are higher than the profit and that's only the error he has to correct it and he has to understand that he is actually a day trader as he is not a positional trader or he is not a trader to hold for more than one day or two days or either more than a week as in this complete video we are analyzing step by step his account his psychology his state of the mind and what type of trader he is there are trades of gold there are trades of oil but major trades has been done into the US stocks and US index like Dow Jones Nasdaq Nasdaq and in three major index he has traded around more than so total trades he has done in all the pairs including the index around 4000 plus so in 10 months 4100 trades is a pretty many trades as uh, day trader we can suggest these are the trades quantity should be so 400 and 400 trades every month you can say he is going he is trading it in a 10 months so per day around 5 to 10 trades he is trading it with this capital and see it uh, balance is left at 1.29 and now we are going to trade we are going to analyze his each trades individually and we can see that went as international live for account we are right now analyzing and we have placed we have the tools where we can check his all histories here say you can see the loss of his account 33,412 and same loss as per our tools it is showing 33,412 and uh, we can see the many plays many orders like Dow Jones the loss uh, loss is a $19,000 and highest trade quantity in the Dow Jones he has traded 1,800 trades then Nasdaq, her, his loss is maximum fifty thousand dollar with two hundred and forty eight trades. So means less trades, but he booked the many losses into Nasdaq. And S and P five hundred, which is again the U S mark U S uh, index, where he made a loss of five thousand with the fifty two trades. Crude oil is uh, commodity where he made a loss of twenty two thousand dollar with three hundred and four trades. So. These are the only the major losses he has done and apart from that he made a good profit into the currency trades and uh, which we can see that GBPUSD, GBPOD, EUROCAD, EURONGD there are with a very few trades he is into the profit so if he has continued his this trading style of the day trading he could have make a very good profit and he could have avoid the losses so the losses in again you can see the GBP JPY in the profit and uh, XAUSD there are many trades 467 trades 
uh, net PIP is $283 and uh, we can see here the $3,000 highest profit he had made it into the Nikkei 225 index that's the Japan index and in that he made a good profit of $3,000 so he has a good grip with the only 9 trades he made that profit supposed to be he got a good trend during that entry and highest trades we can see the Dow Jones has a 1,800 almost trades he has placed into the Dow Jones index with a $19,000 loss and bigger loss is into the Nasdaq 100 near $50,000 loss with the 248 trades. So we would like to analyze further with each and every details and step by step we will follow the all the steps. It is a long videos but if you go through till the end we are definitely sure that you will get a lot of benefit and you it will help you to improve a mistake done by the traders and what are the qualities of the trading you are doing it by analyzing the trades in the systems and by it analyzing the trading history you can understand your psychology as well. So let's do that again these are the trading history of his accounts where his deposit and all the 4,000 trade plus trade has been placed with the loss of 33,412 with the deposit unfortunately here that one is uh, live account of the Vintage International Broker which is a good broker also And yes, now we are analyzing the complete reports of the trades. Here is uh, we have the tools where we can see the trader's psychology by you can see the portfolio and uh, total profit loss, his profit factor, number of trades he has placed. So in the end of the 10 months, his loss is 33,412 and major loss in Nasdaq. As well as there are many pairs, he is making the profit. And these are the list of the trades. And this is the equity chart. In equity chart, uh, we can see the volumes of the trade means how many lots he has traded in the February and April and May, June 2020, his lot size is higher and we can see that his portfolio is increased by adding the deposit of the fund that is not increased due to the profit. The blue line indicates the portfolio line as you can see the below all the traded pair and uh, index has been added and these are the major three pairs where he had made a loss. And due to his portfolio suddenly fall to the one dollar from forty seven thousand dollar. In this chart we can analyze his psychology, the trading pattern. As you can see this two thousand nineteen loss, two thousand twenty loss. And uh, his win ratio is pretty good, seventy six percent to seventy two percent. With this, that win ratio, it's no profit, it's like surprising. You must, has to be the profitable as this accuracy. So what are the major reason? It's a risk and reward pattern. He has not followed it. As his risk is higher than the reward. So if he has maintained it above one risk and reward pattern with a 30% accuracy he could have make a profit but with a 76% accuracy he is not able to make profit because his risk reward ratio is 1.29 only. It's not reached to the 0.5. He's, we can see the profit loss 
by trade duration is a maximum profit in a 5 minutes to the 8 hours as his trade duration are mostly profitable between 5 minutes to the 8 hours time period and above 16 hours or 1 day or 44 days and 8 days he is making loss only we can see the red bars and most of the green bars between 5 minutes to 8 hours only so he is a very good day trader and you can see the 8 hours again he has a loss, low profit bar and most of the loss bar in a 30 days more than 30 days 4 days 8 days so he is not a positional trader he is not analyzing the fundamental factors and you can see the win ratio is pretty good also win losses per month his win is higher in a green mark more or most of the trade he is making the profit but it's a just a deception actually he is making the loss only because of the risk reward his losses is higher than his reward he has to correct that part and trade by duration also the highest trades he has placed into the 4 hours time frame we are, can see that 800 trades placed in 4 hours time frame so he is a day trader and he's a very good on that that's the reason he's placing that many trades but the what is happening and see the profit loss per month he can able to make profit in only two months all other months it's only the loss may is the highest losses he has made it during the 10 months Again, the win losses by day, we can see the chart is very good for the win, but losses are less, but still he is not able to make profit because of risk reward is less. His loss are only 28%, profit is 72%. So, if in a first glance we see the report, we surprise that this trader is a very good trader, but still could not able to make a profit. So, he has to, what are the things he has to correct it? So, he can utilize his skills and make a high profit. Hey, uh, here we can see he is a day trader from this chart only we can analyze as he is trading with a very short period of time and what happening in that period of time the trades which is not going to be success he is holding it for a long term he is not following the stop loss on those trades if he has followed the stop loss on those trades if he has cut out his losses then he could have continued with his capital and decent profit with that so Hope this uh, charts and this analyze. Uh, now we are going to analyze his trade history, and there are some mathematical statistics from that. Now, what are the remedies? Actually, we want to say that okay, we have given now, or we explain about the traders' method and trader psychology, trading pattern method. But what are the step he could have done to improve? See, the trade has been placed on 2019 October. So, almost 10 months is completed. So, we will explain you now with mathematical form that if he would have corrected, if he would have followed this risk and reward pattern, profit must be there in his account. So, here you can see these are the average profit. He made it on his two and average loss he made it 131 so total trades he has placed 4100 total profit trades 2971 out of 4100 with the 72 percent accuracy and total loss trades out of 4100 is 1129 made a loss on account and total loss on those accounts if you kept count it it is 131.89 he has taken a risk in his 1100 trades and reward he has only done 38 dollars on his all 2900 trades so if you take the risk reward means reward divided by risk you get the ratio of 0.29 we will count it at 38 exactly the 0.29 so the best Profit risk reward is a 1 gem 1 minimum and if above 1 gem 1 it is the you can never be the loss at any situation but here the it it's uh, less than break even it should be at least 0.5 in this accuracy if he has followed the 0.5 risk reward he could have make a very huge profit and with the 1 gem 1 or 1 gem 0.5 
but we will give you the complete statistics with the point five one gem one. What would be his profit if he has followed the one gem one or one gem point zero five or one gem two is a it's no doubt with that accuracy with the forty percent accuracy still you can make a profit. So let's see that. Yes, uh, if we make a profit of fifty dollar rather than thirty eight dollar, only we are just increase a bit more reward, like profit rate, average profit rate. Then, if we multiply with from his total two hundred nine seventy one trades, uh, it's average, so we get a one figure, which is around one hundred and forty eight k profit, around point one five million profit, and the loss. We have taken it hundred dollar means we have followed the risk reward of point five, where profit is fifty and loss is hundred. So hundred and twenty nine is the total loss trade. So if we multiply with hundred, it's become the hundred and twelve thousand dollar. If you and if you get the profit, you get around thirty seven thousand dollar profit, around thirty seven thirty five thousand dollar profit. As your gross profit is is definitely increased because of point five risk reward, so he has traded a ten months, so monthly return would be three thousand five hundred dollars. If he had just increased his profit trades and just reduced the loss from one thirty one to hundred, we are not we are not asking him to do a big favor, but just uh, reduce the loss. And he could even make a three thousand five hundred dollar profit per month because these are the ten month profits. And how could he possibly do it by just following the S L N T P in each and every trade? That's all, nothing else. You have to cut your profit and you have to cut your losses with that proportional. So this these are the easy step. First easy step that he can follow it. That increase the profit by just few percentages from 38 to 50 dollar in each trades and reduce the loss from 131 to 100 dollars so the risk reward as per the 50 divided by 100 it is a 0.5 you are following the risk reward 0.5 only and still you can make monthly 3500 return it is almost 10% 10 to 12% return of your capital monthly and you can reinvest that profit into another empty for account and in that way you can increase and you can take the risk on your profit but not on your main capital so now the 3000 now let's see that if he has followed the one gem one risk reward pattern what would be his profit per month Profit. We as assume that he is has to do the hundred dollar per trades and loss hundred dollars. So risk reward will be one gem one. So in this scenario, what could be? As he has to trade with the same seventy two percent accuracy, and uh, he has to only do the day trade, and again he has to only do the currency trades. That he is not good into the So we can see here that two nine seven one is a profitable trades and one one two nine is a loss trade. So into multiple by hundred, we get the total profit in ten months as the two hundred nine two hundred and nine two thousand and nine hundred seventy one is a profitable trades and one thousand one hundred twenty nine loss trades. So multiple by hundred is hundred profit hundred loss. So the total gain is hun 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 yeah it's. If you divide by ten, it becomes almost eighteen thousand dollar profit per month. So point one eight million is net profit, and eighteen thousand dollar profit per month with the risk reward of one gem one. 
so i think it's a uh, very good return of his capital he is getting each and every month 50% return of his capital and i guess so it is the very good profit on his capital of 30000 dollar with getting the 18000 dollar profit consistently and you can see here that the expected payoff is 8 dollar less and why these losses happen because total trades 4100 in each trade he is making loss of 8 dollar so it's definitely 33000 loss so he has to get the expected payoff in positive and profit factor is also less than 1 and profit factor is uh, gross profit divided by gross loss and if it is a less than 1 you can never be profitable you have to increase above 1.0 only it has to be 1.1 1.2 and with that 100 and 100 with this much and see the consecutive win is also higher than consecutive loss means each six trades each eight trades he is making six wins and two losses it's a pretty good uh, accuracy as suppose if we follow with the 100 dollar profit loss 600 profit and 200 loss still in each eight trades he can able to make the 400 dollar profit by following the same risk reward pattern of 1j1 here it doesn't matter either you are trading with one lot two lot four lot but keep your risk as same as your target point in that way if you follow for a long run you can make see the 200 six consecutive win six two consecutive loss still you can make the 400 dollar profit out uh, once you complete your eight trades you so uh, fix your lot size fix your loss and adjust your sl and tp accordingly there are ways if you want to trade 10 lot five lot doesn't matter you can reduce those loss unfortunately by following this uh, few simple steps and it doesn't it's it's not a big science actually it can be followed by anyone and proper methodology proper discipline and proper management that's all you have to just calculate it you have to calculate your sl and tp and it's very easy as per your loss you have to calculate it as suppose you want to keep the loss of 150 dollar and as per the lot size you have to adjust the pips on the pairs which you are trading it so here if you want to keep the 100 dollar profit and 100 dollar loss you have to adjust the sl and tp according to and if you increase it above the 100 dollar profit then definitely it is at the end of the month you are staying in a good profit end of the and tp if you want to keep the find it keep the sl also find it but follow the same pattern cons constantly here your lot size will be higher if you are trading with one lot keep your 100 dollar profit 100 dollar risk and 10 pips gain and if you want to increase it then definitely your chart will be not like this your chart will be constantly up this gap down of wipe out the capital cannot be happen if you follow sl and tp and proper risk and reward pattern it's a simple calculation it's a fifth grade maths it's not a any complex mathematics it's a simple statistics if you not follow the sl you will wipe out your capital follow the sl follow the good risk and reward